Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can capture a screenshot on your Moto E6. Now, there's actually three different ways to capture a screenshot. I'm going to share with you all three ways. The first way is the more traditional volume down power button. You press them at exactly the same time. I'm going to go ahead and give you a demonstration here. So you're going to press the volume down power button at the same time hold for a second and just like that you're able to capture your screenshot and you got some ways of editing the screenshot to the bottom and on the upper right hand corner you can go ahead and save the screenshot to your photos application so that was the first way volume down and power button at exactly the same time you can capture that screenshot. And the second way I'm gonna share with you to capture that screenshot is just with the power button. So press and hold the power button, and then you're gonna get the option for a screenshot to the bottom. Now this is probably the easiest method out of all three that I'm gonna share with you. It's very simple. Like I mentioned, just press and hold the power button like you're gonna power down the device, then hit screenshot, and then you can save it to your photos. Very simple. And for the third way of capturing that screenshot, what you want to do is go into the Moto application. So once you're in the Moto application, you're going to scroll until you see the option for Moto Actions. Now go ahead and click on Moto Actions, and then you're going to see the option for the three finger screenshot. Now this feature might be disabled for you out of the box, so you're going to want to go ahead and enable the three finger screenshot. You can also click right there and then it'll also give you a little demonstration on how you can take the screenshot using three of your fingers. But let me go ahead and share with you on my device here just by pressing on the display three fingers gently, just like that, I'm able to capture that screenshot. So just keep in mind when you are using the three finger screenshot that you wanna just press gently on the display, not too hard because then you can trigger an application or another feature that you don't want activated. But as you can see, it actually works pretty well. So the next feature I wanna share with you when it comes to taking a screenshot is how you can capture a scrolling screenshot. So maybe you wanna capture a long article or a recipe or some website, an entire page. What you wanna do is capture the screenshot in either of the three ways that I shared with you. Press screenshot and then to the bottom far left, you're gonna press on that button right there. And that's gonna go ahead and activate the scrolling screen screenshot as you can see it's capturing this whole web page here uh, off the Google Play Store for PUBG and then you can stop it then you can go ahead and preview the scrolling screenshot everything that has been captured and then you get the option either to save it to your photos or you can go ahead and discard the scrolling screenshot so again I really like this feature I see it very useful and you can just capture so much more with the scrolling screenshot compared to just your traditional screenshot and like I said it works with all three ways that I shared with you with the three finger screenshot just hit that button to the far left and it'll just scroll and capture all the information until you tell it to stop so those are basically the three ways of capturing a screenshot if you found this video helpful and informative in any way possible please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos just like this this is paul tech and i will talk to you on the next one bye